Blessed is our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, heavenly King, comfort of the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere and fills all things, the treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries, and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace and invincible standard, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Also an unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications, gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our Archbishop and Father Salvas and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give a blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, an undivided trinity always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, if you have stricken all who hated me without cause, you have shattered the sinner's teeth. <coughs> this deliverance is the Lord's upon your people, be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger, rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have poured into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life's a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were gone, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man, heard them not as a dumb man, and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing, and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I place my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, Oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumble. As for me, I am ready to be scourged. My pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. O oh, Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul is thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. 
So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choices fair and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You've cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome them to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. <coughs> o Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servants, since all the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. In case to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever, and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Savas, the honorable priest with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and ever bridging man with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You destroy his death by your cross. You open paradise to the robbers. You turn the myrrh-bearing women lamentation into joy. And you commanded your apostles to preach that you rose. O Christ God, granting the world a great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eni ordani baptizo menus su kyrie, itis triados efanerothi proskinisis. Tu gargenitoros ifoni prose martirisi, agapiton se ion onomazusa, ke to pnevma en idi peristeras, eveveu tu logu to asfales, o epifanis Christe o Theos, ke ton kosmon fotizas doxasi. Lord, now both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. In the Jordan when you were baptized, O Lord, the worship of the Trinity was made manifest, and the voice of the Father bore witness to you, calling you his beloved Son. And the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the truth of that word. O Christ our God, who appeared and illumined the world, Glory to you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Life was placed in the sepulchre and a seal was placed on the stone. The soldiers were guarding Christ like a sleeping king. The angels glorified him as immortal God. And the women cried aloud, the Lord has risen, and he has granted to the world the great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. While you were buried for three days, you devastated death. You brought life to humanity, which had been destroyed. And when you rose, you resurrected it, O Christ God. As the benevolent Savior, glory to you. <clears throat> now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. At your epiphany, at River Jordan, O Christ, when by the forerunner, O Savior, you were baptized, the voice from heaven testified that you are the beloved Son. Therefore you were shown to be with the Father beginningless. And the Holy Spirit came down as a dove and alighted on you. In him we are illumined and cry out glory to God in Trinity. <coughs> Es fragis menu tum rimatos, isoien tafu anetiles Christeotheos, ket on thiron keklis menon dismathites se pestis din pandon anastasin, nevma efthes viafton en genizon imin, katato mega to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In tears the women ran to the tomb, bringing ointments. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us? For you, the King of all, were guarded by soldiers. Then they heard the angelic voice addressing them. The angel of great counsel has trampled death, and he has risen. O almighty Lord, glory to you. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Jordan River, tell us, do what did you see, and were amazed. I saw naked him whom none can see, and shuddered in fear. And now I was not, and how I was not to shudder at him, and be frightened. The angels, when they saw him, also shuddered in awe, and heaven was astonished, and astounded was earth. The sea recoiled along with all things, both visible and visible. For Christ appeared in the river Jordan to sanctify the water. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the host of the angels saw you were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades deliberated everyone. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the mirror-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the myrrh-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them in utter. The time for lamentation has ended. Weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. <laughs> 
Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve, you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man, has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. <clears throat> again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady. The Theotokos and every Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord. Blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> o Christ God, who <clears throat> took our form and bodily endured the cross, save me. By your resurrection, O benevolent Lord. You return the captives of Zion from their wandering. As for me, enliven me and free me from captivity to passion. In the south, those who sow afflictions with tears and with fasting will reap the sheaves of joy the staff of life everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the source of divine treasures. From him is wisdom, understanding, and fear. To him all praise is due, glory, honor, and dominion. <clears throat> Unless the Lord builds the house of the soul, we labor in vain. For without him no action or word is accomplished. Moved by the Spirit, the saints produce the Father's dogma about the sonship of the fruit of the womb. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the universe has its existence, for he is God before all, universal lordship, unapproachable light, and the life of those who fear the Lord and find the ways of life, both now and ever, will be called blessed for having immortal glory. As you see your offspring, like olive trees around your table, rejoice and be glad, Chief Shepherd, as you bring them to Christ. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the ocean of divine gift, a wealth of glory, a great depth of judgment. He is identical in glory to the Father and the Son, 
and therefore to be worshipped. Ανάστητη Κύριε, ο Θεός μου, υψωθεί το ηχείρ μου, μη απειλάθη των πενήντων σου εις τέλος. Arise, O Lord my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your poor to the end. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Arise, O Lord my God, let your hand be lifted high. Forget your poor to the end. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Um, nope. No longer will the power of death be able to detain human beings, for Christ went down and crushed it and destroyed all its forces. Hades is shackled, and the prophets in unison rejoice and proclaim, The Savior has come to those in darkness. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. The netherworld below was trembling today, Hades and death, before one of the Trinity. Earth shook, and when they saw you, the doorkeepers of Hades quaked. Now all creation, along with the prophets, rejoices and sings you an ode of triumph. O God, our Redeemer, who now destroyed the force of death, and let us shout aloud to Adam and his descendants. A tree brought him in. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. Come out now, believers, to the resurrection. You appeared today to us on earth, O Master, and your light was signed on us. Who cry aloud to you and say, with understanding, O Christ our God, you came and shone forth, O light unapproachable. Came and shone forth, O light unapproachable. On Galilee of the Gentiles, on the region of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali, the prophet declared, a great light has shone, which is the Christ, dark dwellers, have seen radiant dawn shining out of Bethlehem, rather out of Mary, as the Lord, the Son of Justice, breaks his rays over the whole of civilization. Come then, all unclothed offspring of Adam, let us put on Christ and thus keep warm, for as a mantle for the deluded, and a beacon to the, the be darkened, you came and shone forth, O light unapproachable. You came and shone forth, O light unapproachable. On the 14th of this month, we commemorate the Holy Forty Fathers that were slain on Mount Sinai in the reign of Di Diocletian and those slain in the days of Nihilus the Wise. It was swords that have wrought here made the many murders, and the men which suffered were lovers of virtue. On the 14th, bronze killed the abbess. On this day, we commemorate the Holy Forty Fathers that were slain at Rathu, as Rachel once anciently wept for her children. Now Rathu sweepeth for her sword-sundered fathers. On this day we commemorate our father among the saints, Sabas, first Archbishop of Serbia, the founder of Highlander Monastery. In the black thou became my father's father and thy fatherland's light, O, Lord, o glorious Sabas. On this day we commemorate our righteous father, Theodulus, son of Nihilus the Wise, Theodulus hath appeared great in virtues, closely rivaling <clears throat> the life of his father. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Stephen, who founded the monastery of Chenolacos. For Chenolacos Monastery, wise builder, is a house built in the ground, even for Stephen. On this day, the holy martyr, Agnes, having been cast into a dark dungeon, was perfected in martyrdom. When Nanchast chased Agnes into dark, darksome lodgings, unagonizing, they procured her a light-filled dwelling. 
On this day, we commemorate St. Felix, priest of Nola in Campania. Life spun out its tail like this web of a spider, and up to Felicity ascended Felix. On this day, we commemorate St. Nina, the enlightener of Georgia and equal to the apostles. On this day, we commemorate St. Macrina, the elder, grandmother of St. Basil the Great and disciple of Gregory, St. Gregory the Wonder Worker. On this day, we commemorate the Father among the saints, Kentergen, first bishop of Glasgow. On this day, we commemorate the holy new Hiram martyrs, Plato, Bishop of Revel in Estonia, and Michael and Nicholas, the presbyters who suffered martyrdom in 1919. On this day, we commemorate the holy new righteous martyrs of the Monastery of Sinai and Raithu near Kazan, who were slain by the atheists in the year 1933. By the intercessions of thy saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. The Lord, who is powerful in battle, once exposed the bottom of the deep sea, and he drew his people through, it is on dry land, and there again he engulfed the enemy, for he is glorified. Israel treaded on the sea, swelling billow, which had been rendered once again into dry land. Then the dark waters concealed all the Egyptian riders together as a tomb laid in water, by the mighty strength of the right hand of the Master. The Lord who bestows upon our rulers his might and exalts the horn of his own anointed ones, was born of a pure virgin, made, and now he goes to baptism. O faithful, let us cry aloud and say, There is no one holy like our God, and no one is righteous except for you, O Lord. O Sipa Leon, Ecle Limitavrochon, Voron Leon, don't sintles this man on millas, Agaliomen, que platino me stoma, Logo plecon de sec logo melodian, O ton prosimas, ide te dorimaton. When you thundered upon the many waters, O Lord, unto your Son, thus bearing witness, then he who whom you once designated as the voice of the one who cries out in the desert, heard your voice and filled with the Spirit there present, he cried aloud and said, You are the Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. Once purged by the fire of mystical vision, the prophet, hymning the renewal of mortals, cried out in a loud voice, energized by the Spirit, telling the ineffable words incarnation. He it is who crushed the power of the princess. <laughs> Lise to catatri maniki, Adam to protoplastu, catarsion de os deos mi deomenos, to person di caterete, el doi ordani, en otine cratinas, y perejusa, panda nunirini carisete. Spirit's cleansing is washed away from us now. The dark and dirty enemies poison venom. Therefore we have landed on a new unerring path, the which leads to happiness that has no excess. Say to them whom God to himself reconciled. The voice of the Lord has the lantern of the light, the morning star that precedes the sun, the forerunner is in the desert, crying to all people, repent and beforehand, purify yourselves. Behold, amongst us is the Christ, who out of corruptions redeems the world. Immerten exepines in panolvio, ego patir 
ον γαστρόν εξηρεύζατο, νέν φύσιν ούτος συμφύσγονος πέλλον, φώτα βγός εξόρισεν ανθρώπου γένος, λόγο τέμουζον και βρωτός προμηθεία. When the pious youths were thrown into the furnace, all aflame with fire, the angel of the Lord went down with them and drove out the fiery flame. The moist, whistling wind preserved them free of harm. Being thus refreshed in the flames, they gave glory, singing in gratitude. O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. He who retarded once the tower in fire within the furnace that held the pious young men burned the dragon's head in the streams of the river and the stubborn stains of sin he has completely washed away therein in the dew of the Spirit. And women of the women to brush in whom at the Nyerion, Mysterion Paradoxon, Iva Philonos and Ixecaminos, Pigasas Adroson, Otiritris Melen, Ailon Pirit, Ides Este, O Iordanis. Και στέγησα κι βαπτιζόμενον τον χτίστη, ον ευλογούσι λαοί και υπερυψούσι εις πάντας τους αιώνας. The created world exalts in its liberty, and the sons of light as though they who were once darkened. Only the champion of darkness is groaning. Now let the formerly wretched inheritance of the nations bless him eagerly, bless eagerly him who caused this. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Τι Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών, και να γης επαναπάβει, και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν, το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ίν και αι, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us, <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. From the Gospel according to St. John, let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Jebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they got nothing. Just as they was breaking, 
Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in. But the quantity of the fish, the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped from work and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish lying in it and bread. Jesus said to them, bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dare ask him, who are you? They knew it, it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross of Christ we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome in your judgment. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sin my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot all all my trials. Transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, 
and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. I will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, at the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Kenninke aike istus eonas ton eonon namin, testis teo toku pres dies eleimon, exalipson ta plithi, Tone mone climaton. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable, heavenly bodiless powers, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimethus, Nectarios of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Myrflowing, Theodore of Tyron and Theodore the Commander, Minas the Wonder Worker, Harambolos and Eleftherios the Higher Martyrs, the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious Great Martyr and Olatable Ephemia, the Holy and Glorious Martyrs Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriki, Fotheny, Marina, Perescovi, and Irene, Saint Barbara the Great Martyr, Saint Pentelaimon, the great martyr and healer, and Saint Herambolos, the higher martyr, our venerable and God-bearing fathers, holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and Saint Nina of Georgia, whose memory we celebrate this day, and all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful God, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Love of mankind, 
on your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your Holy Good and Life Giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of Life. My soul magnify her who is greater in honor and in glory than the armies of heaven. Every tongue is dumbfounded to extol as is worthy. A super mundane mind is visited in praising you with hymns of the autobus. Nonetheless, accept our faith since you are full of goodness. For you have seen our longing inspired by God. Lady, as the protectress of Christians, you do we magnify. Oh, my soul, magnify the Lord who has come to the Jordan to be baptized. In the spirit of David, oh, come be present and sing out and those be now approach to God in faith and be illumined. Adam, who was fallen, cried aloud, being the poor man, and truly the Lord heard him. And therefore he has come in the streams of the Jordan. He renewed him, the corrupted one. O oh, my soul, magnify the Lord, who is requesting a forerunner to baptize him. Wash yourselves and be clean, says the prophet Isaiah, and put away your evil doing before the Lord's eyes. All you who are thirsty now, go to the living water, for Christ will sprinkle those who believing run to him. With water that renews, he baptizes them with the spirit unto one decaying life. Oh, my soul, magnify the one to whom the voice of the Father will witness. By the grace and the seal, let us believers preserve ourselves. For as the Hebrews once escaped the destruction, when the lintel had been bloody, likewise this baptismal labor of regeneration will be a passing over an exodus for us, where we shall see the Trinity's never setting light. Today the Lord and Master bows his head beneath the hand of John the Baptist. Oh, all spotless bride, surpassing comprehension, you have the wonders of your childbirth, blessed mother. Through you obtaining comprehensive salvation, we bring you a gift in striking up this worthy hymn of gratitude to you, our benefactress. Today, John the Baptist baptizes the masters in the streams of Jordan. Oh, spotless bright surpassing comprehension are the wonders of your childbirth, blessed mother. Through you obtaining comprehensive salvation, we bring you a gift in striking up this worthy hymn of gratitude to you, our benefactress. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. O oh, my soul, magnify the power of the Godhead that is three hypostases and also undivided. We have come to know the wonder shown to Moses in the bush by some strange laws are here accomplished. Reserved uninjured was the fire-bearing virgin when she brought forth the light bringing benefactor, as were the Jordan streams when they received the man.
master, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, my soul, magnify the ever-Virgin, who from the curse has redeemed us. In unsolid streams you purged our mortal nature, from the darkness, eternal King, you perfected. When you anointed with the Spirit's communion and triumphant over the elated powers to unaiding life, transfer us now, we pray you. O oh, my soul, magnify her who is greater in honor and glory than the armies of heaven. Every tongue is dumbfounded to exalt as worthy. A super mundane mind is dizzy, praising you with hymns of Theotokos. Nonetheless, accept our faith, since you are full of goodness, for you have seen our longing inspired by God. Lady, as the protectress of Christians, you do we magnify. O oh, my soul, magnify the ever-Virgin Maid, who from the curse has redeemed us. O oh, spotless bride, surpassing comprehension, are the wonders of your childbirth, blessed Mother. Through you obtaining comprehensive salvation, we bring you a gift in striking up this worthy hymn of gratitude to you, our benefactress. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet. For he is holy. Once the sea of Tiberias had Simon, Peter, Thomas, and Nathaniel the sons of Zebedee and two other disciples in a boat together fishing. At Christ's command, they let down the net on the right side and caught so many fish. When Peter heard it, he was that it was the Lord. He jumped and ran to him. This was the third time. He showed himself to them here with bread and fish on the charcoals. Our Savior, grace and truth, appeared in... Our Savior, grace and truth, appeared as his epiphany in the streams of the Jordan. And those who lay once in the dark and shadow he illumined now, he has come and appeared, the light unapproachable. Our Savior, grace and truth, appeared in his epiphany in the streams of the Jordan and those who lay once in the dark and shadow he illumined now he has come and appeared the light unapproachable let us Yeah. 
πάντες η αγγελία του ενίτε αυτόν θα σε δυνάμεις αυτού σι πρέπει ύμνος το Θεό To fulfill among them the written judgment, His glory have all His holy ones. Christ has risen from the dead, having closed the bonds of death. O earth, proclaim the good news of great joy. You heavens, praise the glory of God. Praise God in His saints, praise Him in the firmament of His power. Having become the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Praise Him for His mighty acts, praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. We never cease to honor the resurrection of Christ. For it is He who saved us from our transgressions. Holy is the Lord Jesus, who showed us resurrection. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the harp and lyre. What shall we give back to the Lord for all he has rendered to us? For as for us, God, live among men, for human nature that was damaged. The Logos became flesh and dwelt among us. To the ungrateful he is the benefactor, to the captives, the liberator. To those who sat in darkness, the son of righteousness. He who is dispassionate, suffered on the cross. He who is the light, shown in Hades. He who is the life, trampled death. For the fallen, he is the resurrection. Let us cry aloud to him. Glory to you, our God. Amen. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Like from light, Christ our God has shone upon the world. He is God and he appeared to us. O peoples, let us worship him. Praise Him with resounding cymbals, praise Him with triumphal cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. How shall we servants worthily honor you, the Master, O Christ, for renewing us all in the waters? The sea saw them and fled the Jordan and turned back. When you, our Savior, was baptized in the river Jordan, you sanctified the waters. You were touched by the hand of your servant, and you cured the world's passions. Great is the mystery of your economy. O oh Lord, who loves humanity, glory to you. What is it to you, O sea, that you fled, and you, O Jordan, that you turned back? The true light has appeared and bestows illumination on all. Christ is baptized with us, even though he is above all purity, and thus he infuses sanctification in the water then which becomes the purifying agent of our souls. What is seen belongs to earth, while what is understood transcends the heaven. By means of a bath comes salvation, by means of the water come the spirit, by means of immersion does our ascent to God come to pass. How wonderful are your works, O Lord, Glory to you. Ne doxa, 